I want to start with this very important story. Reaction to the explosive lawsuit rocking the NFL. Former Dolphins coach Brian Flores alleging racial discrimination. The league calling the suit meritless. But tonight, he is getting a lot of support from current and former players. We're seeing... Uh, as people who can't lead, I mean, I'm speaking African Americans. There was a notion of African American quarterbacks not being able to perform at the level of, of white quarterbacks. There's a notion of African American coaches not being able to perform at the level of of black, uh, excuse me, of white coaches. And I believe that he should have uh, filed a lawsuit. And what's more embarrassing about this whole situation was the memo that the NFL put out just disregarding. Um, you know, what, what Brian Flores has to say. Black coaches are not awarded the same opportunities as their white counterparts, right? Black coaches are, are you know, they take longer to get hired. They get fired faster. The mm -hmm. NFL owners are the ones that determine who will be the head coaches for their football teams, and they have no incentive to hire black coaches, minority coaches, because nobody, they don't have to answer to anybody. All right, this is a real conversation we're going to have here. No holes barred. Brian Flores joins me now, along with his lawyers, John Aleferakis and Douglas Wigdor. Thank you so much. It's good to see We, know, we yeah. go way back from we other do. things. That yeah, you, thank sure. you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm proud of you. Thank you very much. Thank you for thank doing you this. Much. I really appreciate it. And thank you guys for coming on. Thank Why are you doing it? Uh, for a number of reasons. Um, first and foremost, um, I think the... Um, there's one black head coach in the National Football League, um, and I believe that the, the, the system is broken in, in the National Football League in regards to uh, hiring minorities and black coaches, uh, head coaches, and people in uh, positions of power, uh, GM, head coach. Uh, and I'm doing it um, because I think about my, 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 my two boys and my daughter. Um, and there's, there just simply isn't enough representation um, of people who look like them um, in head coaching roles, in general manager roles, in executive and president roles in the National Football League. Uh, and I want them to be able to uh, uh, look at those roles. I want them to be able to, to, to look and, and, and believe that they can, they can get into a role like that. And that's simply not the case right now. You know what people say, Brian, look, man, you've, got, you've had a very successful career. You can still have a successful career. You can make a lot of money. You know, black man doesn't really get a chance to do that. You are risking it all. And you say what? I say this is not about me. None of this is about me. Um, I think, look, we didn't need a, to file a lawsuit for, for people to see that there's, there's issues regarding, you know, the hiring and firing processes, uh, process in, in the National Football League. I mean, just look at the numbers. Mm -hmm. um, look at the, uh, look at the, 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 the look, the, the, the players in this league are 70% of the players in this league are black. Um, and, um, uh, you're telling me that there's only one qualified black coach, uh, uh, one one qualified person to coach an NFL team. I just, I think, I think, I think there's some a lot of issues. I want to read some of the things. Several athletes have pointed out that it's really the NFL owners that need to answer to this. They are the gatekeepers for change. I'm sure you agree with that. There's not a single black owner, and your lawsuit compares the league to being like a plantation. Do you see this ever changing? That's why, that's why we filed the lawsuit, because we need really change. think it's like a plantation? Uh, a modern form of, 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 of that. Um, look, the, 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 the people who make the decisions um, uh, and, you know, the, the people who, who are, are working, the players, 70% of them are black and the people who make the decision, um, the majority um, are white. Um, and what we're trying to do with this lawsuit is, is really create change. And I think... You know, people talk about it. Um, we, we implement, you know, uh, uh, a policy here, a policy there. Um, I'm not looking for, you know, fluff policies. I'm looking for, for real change. Mm -hmm. And that, that, to me, that starts in the hearts and minds of people who make those decisions. Um, and that's, that's got to come through dialogue. That's got to come through communication. That's got to come through uh, keeping an open mind um, and, 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 and being willing to... to, to uh, talk to and get to know people that are different than, um, than you're, you're used to. Um, and for, quite frankly, um, I think that if an owner is not willing to do that, then he's not fit to own 
in this league. This league is better than than, than, than what what they've shown. I've, I've, a long I, period of I long, jumped long, off long of a, I was in LA last night and I got off the red eye. And the first thing, as soon as I got home, because stuck in traffic. As soon as I got home, I turned it on face, first take and I saw Stephen A. Um, they were having a conversation about this. I want to play this what, what Stephen A. said, and then I'm going to bring the rest of you guys in. Let's play what, what Stephen A. said. All these social justice issues that we attacked, and it was valid and legitimate. But we saw players in the National Football League and players in the NFL addressing that. This is an issue, too. This is an issue to protest about. This is an issue to speak about. This is an issue to be to come together as athletes, black athletes everywhere, and say we got to do something about it. We all remember what happened to Colin Kaepernick. That's why I said, are you... you are you why are you real willing to risk it all because Colin Kaepernick hasn't worked I and mean, he's just he just took a knee you know from some from a service member who told him it was more respectful to take a knee you, you are here you know out here on your own you got these gentlemen supporting you you got other players supporting you but what do you think about what what Stephen A. Said? I'm not on my own um I, I've, I've gotten a lot of support a lot of text messages emails phone calls um a lot of support from you know other coaches who've gone through similar experiences that, that I've gone through. Um, so I'm, I'm not on my own. Um, and this is bigger than me. This is bigger than football. This is, um, you know, this is for, for generations, but for the, for, for those who came before me, um, and those who generations to come. Um, we hope that we hope the owners see this as an opportunity, you know, coming together, as Stephen A. Smith was just talking about, you know, opportunity here to do the right thing. We've, we've put this on a, on a silver plate for them to say, you know what? We can do better. We will do better. We're going to start hiring more black coaches at all different levels. We're going to make sure that we do the, do the right thing. You know, unfortunately, they've taken taken the initial stance of like denying things, even though they haven't done investigations. Um, but we hope that as the outpouring of support comes for, for Coach Flores, that that things are going to uh, change. You want to jump in, John? Or would you? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, the amount of people who, when we've been together traveling today. Um, and since this broke and obviously listening to the conversations of uh, people calling coach and talking about, you know, how grateful they are and how thankful they are and now how they feel like they can come forward uh, just off of the, his courage and obviously lending himself and sacrificing it all for the greater good for a cause. So, um, you know, the the intended effect of of promoting change and stepping out is it's it's working it's working I, I want to ask this because i think it's very important you also and this is a very serious charge right and it is a charge you also allege that dolphins owner stephen ross offered to pay you a hundred thousand dollars for each game you lost in 2019 in order to tank the season and get the first pick in the 2020 draft um your coach is trying to motivate players to win games what do you i mean that is a serious charge well i mean th 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 this this game has done a lot for me it's open doors for me that would have never been opened. Uh, so to hear that, um, to, to disrespect the game that I love, that's done so much for me. That, I mean, that, that was appalling to me, and I wouldn't stand for it. Um, but that, that's, I would say that's, that's not um, as, uh, unfortunately, it's, it's more common than you think. Um, I think there's, there's another, you know, bridge coaches or something that's, that's, that happens in the National Football League, which what I mean by that is um, you hire a coach, uh, you don't give that coach the resources uh, necessary to, uh, you know, field a competitive team, um, and, you know, then you get rid of that coach. That happens. Um, it's happened, uh, you know, and quite often, it, quite often, quite often it happens to, to black coaches, uh, and it's unfortunate. Stephen Ross has denied that the NFL says they're going to fight vigorously against it. They've denied that that this. What do you What do you guys say to that? They 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 came forward, um, you know, within an hour, pretty much, of us filing a 60-page complaint rife with allegations of criminality, um, inappropriate conduct, racial discrimination, which is obvious by the numbers, and within an hour, just flat out, this is meritless. No investigation and said earlier, they, they investigated deflated footballs uh, longer than they've even given any consideration to this, these serious allegations. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous when you actually think about it. I am so happy that you, you gentlemen came. Thank you again. 
I'm so glad that you're speaking out and you have a support system around you. It's good to see that. Thank and thank you. you. We'll have you back to discuss this as this continues Appreciate on. It. You're going to fight it. You're going to continue the course, right? You yes. certainly are. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Thank you, buddy.